Well, winter is finally here and it's freezing cold. So taking a walk around your garden may not be top of your list. But wildlife and nature has so much to offer in the colder months of the year. So today I'm taking a stroll around Goodestone Water Gardens to take in a breath of fresh air. At this time of year, while you're out on your woodland walks, make sure you keep your eye open for snowdrops because of course January and February is the perfect time of year to see these beautiful, beautiful flowers. There are many different varieties, so make sure that you have a little peek to see what different ones you can find. The owners of Goodestone Water Gardens are Coral and Ernest and Coral's now going to tell us where it all began. My father created the garden. Um, he began it in 1970, when he was 70 actually. He was a farmer and very, very involved with the farm. And so when he retired, my, my brothers decided to have their farm meeting in his bungalow each morning, so he'd still have some involvement. It was at one of these meetings that my youngest brother, Chris, asked my father to come out and look at the meadow and decided it was too wet and as he walked away Chris said to my father um, what jokingly what you need here dad's a water garden and here it is and here it is that that just sowed the seed Another really pretty winter bulb that you'll see flowering around about now is the winter aconite and you often find them around about snowdrops in woodland areas and here at Goodestone they've naturalised beautifully all along the banks of the water here and you'll see the flowers are really gorgeous yellow, not quite open yet but any time soon. It comes in at the north uh, east corner and flows through the garden and uh, back into the um, river at the northwest. But the water is, as you can see, um, it, it's as high as the, what the water table is. One hasn't got to go down very far to, to get to the water. Whilst you're out on your winter walks, make sure you enjoy all of the beautiful colours that winter has to offer, such as the reds of the dogwoods, which reflect beautifully in the water. I like to think it's a garden people can come and enjoy, uh, whether they're into gardening or not, just a place to relax. So hopefully you've seen from today, it's not just the sunnier months of the year that we can enjoy all that wildlife and nature has to offer. So wrap up warm and go outside to enjoy some of our beautiful Norfolk gardens.